Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to a new toy related video. So I just came back from uh, my local flea market and I didn't find much but enough to just pop me up to um, get thinking about maybe what if I just film my current uh, toy collection display today. One note in the beginning. Hello everyone. Yeah, editing Lau here again. Um, I'm interrupting because I have to tell you the truth. This video is already around um, two months old and my collection has changed kind of uh, quite a bit since then. Um, not only because of the like other toys I have um, added to the collection, but also because I have actually new shelves already. I mean, the stuff that you see is still kind of like it is now but I've added a lot of things uh, to the point that I've actually already like thought about not using this footage at all mm, but then again um, I thought this kind of okay what I did here so um, I thought I will just uh, show you this although it's kind of outdated already um, and in the next uh, yeah um, toy shelf uh, tour or whatever uh, you will see how it evolved so just to let you know, this is not how it looks at the moment. I don't have a collection room or a specific place just for my toys. No, like I have to say, I am kind of living in my uh, collections because I'm living in a small um, two-room apartment or flat and I love it. I sure I would like to have like a separate uh, room for just my toys, but uh, for now it is um, yeah mainly my living room. This is like here my living room. I will also show you that behind the camera a little bit, uh, so you get an idea of what I'm dealing with and a part of my collection, like my Jurassic Park dinosaur stuff and my Funko Pop Disney collection, is in my bedroom, which is somewhere else. So this is the angle that I'm looking at. <laughs> Uh, while I was filming right now so um, here are my like artificial lights or so my daylights and I use my camera stand and this normally isn't up because I'm living here this is my couch so I put everything always away when I filmed and put it behind this chair underneath then everything's like um, like you can't see it so I don't have like a dedicated YouTube area or something and you kind of probably uh, know my the layout of this room when you are already when you were already following me during vlogmas because I showed you my like Christmas decoration thing and this was the corner where the uh, Disney Christmas tree was and this was the corner where my other like Christmas tree was my bigger one here's my couch here's more of my Star Wars display also here's my mannequin where I have always one of my costumes on right now it's still Shark T. Uh, because it's my favorite currently to display. We are just some Mickey ears, um, Star Wars posters, Star Wars posters, Star Wars posters. This corner you probably know. I'm recently always filming here my um, my cosplay showcase videos, and but here will um, I will have the big um, home office desk again. So I don't know where then I can film uh, those videos, but. Like the main part I want to show you is this. This is a uh, unit, a uh, furniture unit I got actually from my parents. This was previously at my parents' house, but I kind of like it because I have this light um, wooden um, uh, wood color as my furniture most most of the time. So there, uh, that's why I took it, and it's kind of nice because it has. That's what I liked. It has one like really like display thing with a glass um, cover so it's like um, like a vitrine is a coffee vitrine probably not but um, and then I started to put in my ponies there and it has outgrown it because stuff is already now there let's start where do I want to start let's actually start from um, from right to left starting with my like miscellaneous things and newer toys coming here and then ending with my main um, vintage shelves so this is a Billy bookcase I like them actually quite a lot because they're not as deep 
you can still see the toys in there very well somehow better than what you I should open that I uh, see in the back there that's why when I think to the future probably would get them Billy bookcases um, because they're not as deep anyways here and on the bottom I won't show you too much is everything <laughs> that's belonging in my Harry Potter sweets themed uh, collection it looks kind of crowded and actually this has fallen down it's not supposed to be like that and now everything falls it is super cluttered and I don't like it but I don't know where to put it right now and I'm not such a not so much into Harry Potter at the moment this is everything I have from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter so uh, in Orlando Florida the, the um, Universal Studios uh, there all the sweets and the pumpkin juice and there's a quibbler right behind and you know some some of the stuff that my friend Kirshu makes like uh, these cool uh, chocolate frogs but yeah I don't know it doesn't belong here actually because all the rest is toys I don't know where to put it right now it's still there this is something <laughs> work in progress these are my like fakies and um, custom projects that I have this is the first um, like custom fakie that I did because I didn't want to start with real My Little Ponies. My first re-haired pony. Um, some other <laughs> fakies, another fakie and some customs. It's the only uh, ever after high doll I ever found at the flea market. It's for so then another work in progress because I just put together those um, stairs, those shelf risers. Um, as I have this light, um, light brown, light wooden um, shelf situation here, I like to just make my shelf risers out of cardboard because uh, honestly that looks kind of okay I think. Right now you can definitely see them because it's kind of empty. But it's good because I need more room <laughs> when I get new things. This is all like generation 3 right now here and two of the Equestria Girls minis which I don't know if I really collect them or not, but I kept finding them at flea markets. Um, most of these I got in this huge pony lot, which I got in Düsseldorf. Uh, new flea market finds. This is also from Düsseldorf. Okay, this doesn't belong here. I have to put it in my <laughs> Christmas display. So that, that doesn't look like much right now, but I'm still figuring out like these um, semi newer modern toys, like. I mean, Generation 3 My Little Pony is also already kind of old. But yeah, same with this. But I still kind of like how it looks. So these are all the Generation 3 ponies I found at flea markets. And um, I think this one I got for Christmas one year, but it's some years ago already. So these are not new. Also this, this, and these are like more newer uh, finds. And here are my only generation 3.5 ponies, which, yeah, um, when I find them for cheap at a flea market, I take them. They are definitely not my main part in, in collecting, my main focus. Then I have some um, Ponyville, which I kind of like. And recently I found a lot, so that's why my collection has grown quite. Um, this is actually generation four. Um, a baby sea pony but kind of looks nice on the on that shelf and here's my very small uh, poopsie slime surprise collection i like those those um oh my gosh qd tooties i think they were called uh the most because they are so small but so detailed you can't find them in stores currently anymore you find these these are the whatever critters cute but I, I i won't buy them anymore this is just i found it at flea market and this one I opened together with my niece because she really likes those slime things and she's really into the poopsies. So we bought two and then we opened them up and I kept one. And the next weekend I found this one which is the one she opened at a flea market. So that's why I'm having like a small collection here going on. This is like new toys, like super new, still in store. This is more like, I don't know, 10 years ago stuff. My only little breezy. And yeah, Generation 3 and 3.5 and po Ponyville is like in between. It started in Generation 3 and then kept going until the 3.5 generation. So it's not new. 
and it's also not vintage so it's from the 2000s all it yeah, yeah I would say okay the top shelves here the two ones that are uh, the highest ones here are all apart from these brushes here uh, generation 4 so friendship is magic generation 4 ponies here is my blind bag collection going on I still don't like that display although I have uh, in, implemented here uh, shelf risers but it yeah kind of still crowded and but yeah I don't know what to do actually so that's why I um, decided to do the collection too anyways so there are a lot of glittery ones these girls here I found all of them at flea market so I have to say everything here except like except for all in general all that stuff uh, except for this one which I bought in the store but all the rest is thrifted um, bought on like like flea markets or in lots or like from from uh, eBay Kleinanzeigen or stuff like that so nothing is storeboard everything I got get like cheap most of them at flea markets or or thrift stores stuff like that so I have quite a lot acquired now some like characters like this photo finish or two um, or hoity hoity toity or there's Maya Mare or Gilda here we have like the main six which Pinkie Pie is missing but I found her today she's down below there so I can also put like a Pinkie Pie in there she's missing there some of the other characters like the cutie mark crusaders there or um, that wonder Bolt pony which I the name escaping is escaping me currently and here is my small display of uh, pony brushes it's actually all vintage brushes except for one generation 3 brush I haven't really figured out how to display it but uh, kind of like it right now um, so right in the back here is my, um, yeah, let's say, let's let's call it a royal pony like display because they're all the royal ponies or royal sizes uh, except from Spike is not royal but he belongs to, uh, to Twilight but um, then Tempest Shadow is, is not royal but she has more like this size of, of ponies other than these normal sized ones so there we have a fakie of um, Nightmare Moon that and Princess Luna, um, Princess Celestia, Cadence, Twilight Sparkle, this is, I forgot the name, one of those princesses which are not in the show, and then another Twilight. Um, I won't go like on every pony with every name now, but you see there are different versions. This is one of the water cuties, or this is the pearlized version. Um, here we have little flurry hearts. Anyways, going up, here is the other generation 4 shelf I have. Again, nothing store bought, everything thrifted, flea marketed, or like found in lots of other ponies. So here the, the front shelf is like all the like not completely all but like yeah well all the main characters, the main six actually, and the cutie mark crusaders plus Miss Jerry Lee because she fit in there <laughs> quite nice. Uh, I have multiples of some of the characters like Fluttershy here. I've got I think three versions or like again I have other uh, Twilight Sparkle versions. As far or as long as they are really different versions with like different hairstyle, different body color, glittery hair, whatever, then I'm okay with having doubles. I probably don't want to have like complete double doubles. Like complete the same and this shelf it's like some of the pearlized ones um, here right in the middle in the center I have two of my favorite characters from the show I've got Starla Glimmer and Trixie Lula Moon and here are some uh, special other ponies like this pearlized and glittery version and you've got one of the Glimmer Wings from that here at the top um, you can also see that I have not only the, the regular kind of first release uh, uh, molds of the generation 4 ponies. I also have some reboot ponies mixed in there. You will now also find them at the flea markets like this. This is Cherilee, um, 
or two versions of a rarity here. They are different. You see, the pose is different. That's why I kept them, and I wanted to have them. And again, the main some of the main six again here with yeah another cadence because she didn't want to put two on the same shelf. It looked different and whatever. But they are a little bit different. I don't know if I keep both. Anyways, right on top. I actually just have a like some nice uh, postcards from a artist and uh, these are like uh, generation four main six the main six characters friendship is magic as we imagined as people well, yeah that's why I put them on top of this these two dinosaur troll mix-ups I never know where to put them they are probably vintage like 90s I haven't found out what the series is called, but you know, in the 90s, trolls were uh, really popular and they put all franchises together with trolls. So these are probably like a um, mix up of the molds from the um, Dinosaur. Is, is the show called Dinosaur? Because in German it's called Die Dinos. You know, the not the mama one, <laughs> not the mama, uh, but mixed up with trolls. Behind there is a Generation 4 Pony set, play set, which I started getting for like nice uh, shelf uh, like backgrounds, but now my shelves are too full and I can't fit them. It's Rarity Boutique. Um, yeah, this, that, that, all of this was mainly newer toys and you saw like actually almost everything My Little Pony. Because My Little Pony in general is my main focus, of course, more or less focusing or on the Generation 1, which is my favorite. But if you go to flea markets, then you can find all those other generations and I can't, like, I, I can't, cannot get them. Especially because I'm a huge fan of the um, Project of Magic series. Let's continue here. Uh, it's not really fitting so well in that, like, vintage and pony stuff, but as it is on this shelf, I want to go into it now. It's my Toy Story collection. I'm a huge Toy Story fan. Like of all the movies, I have cosplayed Jesse, I have cosplayed Bo Peep, and I now also have a, a Gabby Gabby cosplay. Um, essentially, this is mixing up two of my favorite things, like toys, like um, memories of having toys as a children, how to play with them. I really love the concept of toys getting to life and, and what, what they mean or what children mean to toys and the other way around. So Toy Story also is like probably one of the reasons why I'm absolutely against actually keeping uh, toys in the box. So yeah, I, I can't help it. I really love them. Toy Story 2 is my favorite, um, but 3 probably also like meh after that. Um, and the, the first and the fourth like are on the same level for me. But let's start right here. This is actually uh, my notebook that I will start um, from, to, from tomorrow on from, for work. This is like a, a, just a zipper cup from, from Primark Alien Pizza Planet on it. Really lovely. Then here are two um, potato hats. So Mr. and Mrs. Potato Hat. Uh, I found them at a convention and I pieced them together. I mean, they're not directly Toy Story related, I think, but they are the general Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head thingy that you can exchange all the parts. That was really fun <laughs> when you're really digged in a bin and then tried to piece them together so they look most as they look in Toy Story. Here we've got some of the boxes that I kept, the one from Buzz Lightyear. Obviously, who would throw that away? That's part of the franchise, part of Buzz and Woody's Roundup box. There's another one like behind there. And then here we've got the main characters. We've got Buzz and Woody, which I both got last Christmas. You saw my Christmas unboxing, I'm not unboxing, but, but my Christmas haul, and I'm loving them to death. They are like my one of my favorites in, in, in the whole collection. Then we've got a Luxo Ball from, um, from Disney World. Um, here we've got a uh, ham, it's really a money box, but from Primark. Then the Build Your Own Forky Kit, which I have a video on. Uh, we've got Jessie, which, which was my favorite of the main, um, let's say, bigger toys that I got at a convention last year and I was so excited. Here we got a small Gabby Gabby, which is a Funko Pop, but which I actually don't want to put in here because like the 
definitely Gabby Gabby herself would be bigger and I want this display more or less to be like the real toys and the real toy sizes as if they would be my toys but I think A Gabby Gabby is really huge or uh, well, would be really huge like she she's a doll like bigger than Woody and everything and I don't know if I could fit her and also I haven't seen one really a good looking one so for now this cute Funko Pop um, is doing the, the job for having a Gabby Gabby. Then down below I've got an alien which is actually size wise I think it's too big <laughs> but it's also a money box like Ham from Primark. Then here we've got Slinky. If you look deeper it really is a Slinky one but it actually is not the real like Slinky toy that, that they are selling for Toy Story. It is actually a light up thing also from Disney World which I got last year uh, which then you use to see yeah, I haven't um, flipped this off then it would be light up and you could like at night wear it around your neck or something but it looks real enough and it was way cheaper than the real Slinky Dog thing. And then the last things in my Toy Story collection are more or less miscellaneous. This one isn't even really belonging to Toy Story but let's start here. This is actually a real um, vintage Jurassic Park toy. It's the uh, pterodactyl of Pteranodon. Uh, there you can see JP. But this is the one actually, or I think the smaller version of the one that in the first Toy Story movie Sid is beheading and um, yeah, throwing together with, with, a, with a doll, you know, and then it's, it's rescued afterwards. And uh, that's why I'm keeping him here instead of keeping this one in my um, like Toy Story, uh, sorry, in my, my, my Jurassic Park slash dinosaur display because I think he, he really means something to me concerning Toy Story. Here we've just got two <laughs> small of the Green Army men. There are like different versions because this one also has a little bit of paint which I do not like as much but, but still. Two Army men, yes sir. And then here we've got this pink troll uh, is in the first Toy Story movie or not this but one a pink troll actually with a blue bikini <laughs> I never made that because I don't know I'm just lazy I never did that and I I've, I've put this troll which I got at a flea market quite recently here because like two trolls together look nice I actually got this one because I wanted an orange haired one because of Guardians of the Galaxy so it has actually nothing to do with Toy Story but it still matches and I like it because it's vintage 90s stuff. So that's all of my Toy Story stuff. Let's continue down below. Well, this unit here in the middle actually was covered. It was covered also like with a door or it, it went down like this is more like a bar thing where I kept... Uh, actually, I kept nothing really in there. It's actually to keep your alcohol and stuff, but I'm not drinking alcohol, so... Uh, I just had one bottle of um, rum in there for five years or something from when we celebrated like a uh, New Year's Eve Eve one time here so and then there was like everything and nothing in there so I figured okay I might just open it up without the door and having more display piece more display space for like everything that I couldn't fit on anymore so this is now my poly pocket and LPS display. Um, you see that these are also cardboard uh, thingies and the idea to me still is great but as <laughs> I put so much on it it's uh, bending a little bit so that looks a little bit unprofessional but I really couldn't find anything um, that uh, fit the space so well than when I make something myself. I probably should like get some, some acrylic um, just uh, I don't know plates or something and then put it together because like with like see-through acrylic things that would look like this it would look more professional. Let's start at the bottom here. Um, this big thing here like if I move it maybe you can see is one big poly pocket playset, vintage poly pocket from the 90s that you have probably seen if you're following me um, for a little bit longer in one of my flea market hauls and directly finding it at the flea market and as this is kind of like a whole landscape I got the idea that I can put some of the LPS in there <laughs> and from that on it kind of evolved 
right in the back there are still like two of my elephant houses just a little bit raised up but the rest is like this complete um, poly pocket play set and in between there are a lot of generation 2 LPS I think these are the most common ones to find some of them are, are generation or I think which are which have the non non um, movable heads, but most of them have the bubble heads. So they, I, I guess, they are generation two. I'm not so knowledgeable about LPS, but I keep finding them at flea markets, and they are just so cute. I don't go into like detail with these, but there you can see of my fish. We've got the panda. Here we've got like torches and turtles, seahorse, water creatures are kind of my favorite because you can really nice make nice pictures in the water. I really tend to get the ones that are colorful. I like the colorful ones more than the like natural animal colored ones but I still have some of them like here they are more like natural colored and I like those fant fantasy creatures probably the most. Let's get to the next level which has more different poly pockets than just one um, here are different sets I kind of display the ones that I think look so cute from the inside open if I have the space for example this one doesn't look so much so nice open it looks nicer like closed same with this one so these are closed and these are open because I like the look from the inside honestly I don't know what this is I just keep it there it's not an LPS but I don't know what it is <laughs> It matches the colors somehow. I also try to match the colors of the LPS to the sets. Kind of semi-successful, um, but here are the ones that are more like um, minty colored and more like it matches the background there. Um, here purple or lilac, light colors. Then here in the back you can see my Polly Pocket Light Up Magical Mansion. And on there is just balancing one of those um, Barbie accessories because I, because I'm actually missing all the flags. But then uh, I just put this uh, Barbie uh, bird on there. Yeah, the cats. I tried to match it a little bit more. Like cats would more like live in the mansion, or I don't know here, like uh, fish more in the lake or whatever. But. The more I get, the difficult it gets because I don't have a space for a giraffe. But the giraffe is so cute. Then here is another one of those houses. Um, one fact about me and Polly Pocket. Um, I prefer the compacts way more than the houses. Uh, one uh, oddity here in there is also a like one vintage Lilith Pet Shop. This Pinto Pony is the generation Lilith Pet Shop that I had as a child. And behind here is a giant <laughs> New Orleans pet shop hiding there. It looks like a Godzilla or something <laughs> behind the house, but color-wise it matched. And the top shelf is my pink uh, display, pink, purple, and colorful, bright colors. Here we've got a little bunny, LPS, and then some others. This is my favorite Polly Pocket set. You've seen it probably more than once in my videos. Um, Here's a smaller one with the dog grooming shop in there. Here I have two of the Mimi and the Goo Goos sets. Here are other ones. This is one of those very famous um, book Polly Pockets. And this is also so beautiful from the inside, but it's also huge. Uh, that's why I always display it closed and it also looks closed, very cute. Although it is also very discolored, but the salmony pink still looks good. This one is my newest find, like this um, light up horse house. <laughs> I displayed Goofy in there because I found it with Goofy, although it's not belonging there, anyways. And again, tried to match up color wise the LPS in here. And I've got my fakey Tamagotchi, so the Hitoriko that I also found. Uh, in one of my last flea market hauls. The rest here is like closed, so it's no nothing displayable. Nail polish stuff and, 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 and I don't know, star costume parts and paper. And here are, oops, here are all my books and uh, comics in there, which previously also used to be displayed around here. 
So especially my, my Star Wars books and everything was like in the open, but I figured, yeah, I need more space for my toys to display. So I put all my Star Wars comics and everything and all my other you know, my Padawan books and Harry Potter and all of those behind the scenes books and stuff like that right on top there. And it, uh, I, like, I really like how it is. You are also my, my photo albums and stuff like that. Anyways, <laughs> here's my pony bag, which I always use when I'm going out to taking toy pictures. So let's get to the last main thing, which I have to open because it's the only compartment with glass in front. So this is like my pride and joy because it's all vintage girls toys and especially my little pony generation one which is my main focus um where do i start i think i start again at the bottom this uh, is actually kind of work in progress you see it's kind of empty for now it houses my generation two my little ponies and my um generation one piccolo or, or petite ponies some people are calling them piccolo ponies which i don't know i always just find them and they are called Deep ponies. Anyways, I don't have a huge collection of Generation 2, but it looks really nice like this right now. And so I figured as long as I have the space, I can display them like this. Generation 2 is actually, I didn't grow up with it. I grew up with Generation 1 ponies, which are my main focus. And when Generation 2 came out, like in 97, I was already out of pony things, pony collecting. I was riding horses <laughs> at the time and I, I wasn't interested in, in colorful, um, I don't know, ponies with wings or whatever, probably. So I, I didn't know they were existing until I started collecting Generation 1 and then I found out about all the other generations. And I always thought they looked kind of strange. Um, but uh, now having like, like a variety of them, they still they really look cute together. So, and I have to say, like all the morning glories, like this girl here in the middle and at the right, they're all morning glory. Yeah, like normal morning glory, princess morning glory, and some other princess wedding thing morning glory. I all found at the flea market. That's so cool because I always keep finding morning glories at the flea market. Uh, the other ones I got in the big pony um, lot from Düsseldorf, which I already mentioned. Um, when I when I was talking about the generation three ponies, some of them. So because she had like all generations, and then I just picked some of them that I liked from the color, or that I thought like the, the pose is really cute, like this one or this from the color. By the way, I styled the hair because it is a cut hair. <laughs> like I don't know, like a shooting star. I really like that. Um, yeah, this one really looks a lot like Fluttershy. I think she's she's one of those predecessors of her because she also has um, butterflies. Um, I'm not good with the names of, of uh, the Generation 2 ponies. I'm sorry, I always just can rem remember Morning Glory <laughs> because I always find them. So let's uh, continue with the next shelf here, which is um, still a miscellaneous one. This is the one that I Previously, in like I did a separate video about when there were still generation three and two ponies in there, and it has evolved now into it is only now um, vintage nine, uh, 90s and 80s stuff, but still a little bit of miscellaneous. Um, I don't know how to start, but let's start here because here is my Lady Lovely Locks, my sparkle pretty Lady Lovely Locks doll that I found at the flea market and all the curly kittens here. And this one that I also found at the flea market is Sunny Soft. So these are all belonging to Lady Lovely Locks. Um, but this is the only thing I have from Lady Lovely Locks. So let's continue then because here we've got a lot of keepers. Oh, I love keepers. Um, and most of them are also found in thrift stores or flea markets. Some of them I got online for cheap. I had some of some I got at con conventions. This horse was like a major find at a flea market. Already I had one. So I have um, these baby keepers. Yeah, here you have Bell this one. And these two big ones. 
So the horse diamond is the only one that I have like as a big keeper. I would love to get more because keepers are so cute. I did not have keepers as a child, but my friend had some. So I, I remember her having the, um, the big swan one, which is like one of my grail keepers to get. But I, whenever I see her online, she's so discolored and I would like to get her in a good condition. And also, um, yeah, my, my space is limited. So getting more huge keepers would be like kind of a space problem. Anyways, um, I have two of the um, Mattel little pretties. So this kitty here, Mimi, and then this is a pretty puppy, a little pretty puppy. And yeah, they are super hard to get over here in Germany. Same as these these Lady Lovely Locks kitties. If you're thinking why they look so um, similar, like this one and, and these, uh, it's because Mattel um, went back to their original line of Lady Lovely Locks some years later um, because Lady Lovely Locks is from the end of the 80s and these um, little pretties they are from the early 90s to some years after maybe like five years after or three whatever they went back to the same mold and just um, made a little bit of a different face and wanted to compete um, with My Little Pony <laughs> and anyways I don't know if they were released in Germany or not I mean they are I love them. I would like to get more because they are right up my alley, like ponies, but but, but just as kitties and, and puppies. They are like so expensive and you kind of never find them even online. So I don't know. Lady Lovely Lux, you kind of find more, but they, they go up to 40 euros or something. Those one of those little kitties. So I'm happy that I found most of the stuff at, at, at thrift stores or for cheap. Um, <laughs> One other toy line that's hiding in here uh, between those uh, like keepers and Lady Lovely Locks and the pretties, which is a fairy tale bird. It's from Hasbro, so it goes together with the My Little Ponies. They were designed as kind of pony friends, although they were not part of the pony line. I have just one. Same with these guys. Kind of impossible to get over here in, in, in Germany at least. Super hard to get, super expensive. This is one of the baby ones and I would like to get more <laughs> but the last set that I saw like um, selling on eBay for I mean I, I, I stopped looking at this auction because when it was still three days to go it was already at 60 euros and um, started at one euro so you can see how, how incredibly hard to get they are and um, here in between there are also two um, fakey kind of toys. This elephant is a fakie. I got a flea market but I rehaired the, him so he looks really cool now. Okay, fall down. Um, um, I'm not so much into fakies but this one I had to get because he's kind of also vintage and and he's a staple of those, those fakie pony friends. And with new hair he looks really really good. And this cute guy also a flea market find. I remember having one of those. I think they were blind bag toys. Of course, they had no hair at all. But I, I really thought, oh my gosh, it would look so cool with hair. So now he's kind of a, a I don't know, darling dinosaur uh, fakey for me <laughs> with this cool hairdo. What else do I have in here? Here's my only Cherry Mary Muffin doll, um, Chocolati, and a comp from, from, from another Cherry Mary Muffin doll. I'm not a huge toy, uh, toy. I'm not a huge um, doll collector when it comes to vintage toys, but some I really, really like the look. And when I, when I collect the whole other series, like this Lady Lovely Locks, um, then I get them. She was a flea market find, I couldn't leave her because I, I, I knew what she was and previously I, I got the, the, the comp in another lot so I needed to get her. So this little doggy in the middle there is a fakie of Sweetie Pops. Uh, when I got him I wasn't sure if he's real one because I know there were also like smaller ones released but from the face I was kind of already thinking that he's a fakie and he's a fakie but he's also vintage so it all goes together in this vintage. Um, like complete uh, display of different things. Oh, I forgot she forgot her. She is a um, 
Little Secrets doll. I really like her. I would like to collect those more because they, they don't have like real like clothes um, or, or textile clothes. They just have it molded on. That's more of my right up my alley because like all those toys don't have clothes. I don't know. I like clothes more on, on really human bodies because you know I'm a seamstress and I like to dress up. I'm a cosplayer. I kind of don't like clothes on, on, on toys somehow. Um, she also in 1993 or some, something and really cute in her hair used to be um, like a little hidden secret, a charm or something. I really would like to get them more but as more, the more I, I search for them the, the, the less I found because somehow I only found packed ones, so mint on card ones, which then are too expensive for me and I guess when they're already like loose then nobody knows what they are so that's why they are not sold on ebay or somewhere like frequently like okay now let's get to my ponies i have one two three four five full shelves of ponies well the top one is not completely full um, i won't go on on every toy right now as i did here but i tried to to focus the shelves a little bit so this is one that's not so much focused because here are some of the pony lines or, or uh, sets on which I do not have many of. So in the front you've got, we've, we've got my, my only um, um, teeny weeny ponies and I also put my only um, baby pony and pretty pal, so baby pocket and baby hoppy here, uh, baby tuppy, one of the ballerina ones. Then the next shelf has three ponies that has something to do with brush and grow, so two of the brush and grow princesses and one of the like normal brush and grow ponies. I love them, but they have so much hair, it's so difficult. Can, can you see like it, it, it's covering up everything? So the <laughs> brush and grow ponies are so difficult to display for me. That's why currently I'm not getting new ones uh, like online um, because I think they are so difficult to display. The, okay, no, this is not a princess sorry I, I said princess this is the only Russian girl princess this is a normal Russian girl like this but as her hair is braided it's easier to display um, here are two the only two flutter ponies I have one with its original wings and here we've got the birthday pony which was like one of my best finds at a convention for like a euro or something still can't believe I found her because I think she is thought after and kind of not really rare but but she goes for, for more than the ordinary, I don't know, Cherry's Jubilee or something. <laughs> so, one of my best founts of ponies, Generation 1 uh, in the wild. And then I put my only uh, sea pony on here. She was previously at this shelf. And I don't know where to put her because I don't have the shelf. Shelf, shelf. So I don't know, she, she doesn't stand up from alone. So, nah, but she's, she's in there. Um, here we've got some, here are two of the sweetheart sister mold, here's one of the, oh my gosh I have to fix her eye, um, one of those um, makeup ponies, um, the set is not called makeup ponies, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, here is my only pony friend, Creamsicle, I love her, these are two of my childhood, I mean not really childhood ponies because none of them are, but I had them as a child, so one of the talking ones. Uh, and here's sports time from the um, uh, school ponies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here uh, we've got three of the uh, pony brides. This was my first one, she's not in a good condition. Then I got another one, this one, to replace her and then make a custom out of her, which I haven't done yet. And then I got another one in the big pony lot from Dizzledorf, which I mentioned already more than once. She's also from this lot. For some reason, most of the ponies from this lot have really scuffed eyes and I have to fix that. That's, that's easy, but I, I have to do it. So. <laughs> and uh, on this main, so the, the brides are there and then also the family ponies, so daddy and mommy bride bouquet. They look kind of different because she's a no country one and he's a Hong Kong one, so that's why they look color-wise so different. On the next shelf I have more of the ponies that I um, like um, want, want to collect the whole the whole sets. Um, not really from the babies, but here are two of the Fancy Pants babies. Here are two North Stars, baby North Stars, which 
And now right now I still keep the, the uh, doubles in here because they display really nice. And here's another one from the family sets, but it's from the celebration, so sweet celebration family baby brother. Here is my kind of new edition. It's um, baby surprise. I really want to also get the big surprise because I love that neon hair. She was called bait but I honestly don't think that she's so much bait. Here's a little spot at the wing and at the other side she has some darker spots but other than that the hair looks good and, and, and she isn't bait for me. <laughs> uh, um, fun fact, I have a lot of ponies which were called bait, like she was also in a lot that was called bait ponies. Like, like, where is she bait? Honestly, her hair is a little bit cut, but it's not bait for me, sorry. And I like to fix ponies and give them like a new life uh, after they, they look, uh, look very rough or anything. Here are three of the... Um, she, she doesn't stand really well, she, she always falls against tassels. Um, here we've got three of the merry-go-round ponies which I love. I just have three of them and I probably will never complete the whole set because two of them are really um, really rare. They have these saddles with flowers and, 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 and decorations. Here this is not so, I mean at least these are together but here are my candy cane ponies which is one of my favorite sets. I have four um, but they, they are like uh, like um, caramel crunches at the top and the others are at the bottom. I, I just couldn't figure out how to put them, so that's why they are there. They are one of my favorite sets. I love to recurl their hair and this is one of probably one of my rarest ponies, which is Lemon Treats. Uh, she's the rarest one in the set. She wasn't released in Europe, so she re was just released in the, in the US. And uh, I was like stunned when I found her for 20 euro on eBay. So that's, that's, that's so great. Her hair isn't as long as I wish it would be. And they all really do not smell anymore because they were scented. Molasses, um, sugar sweet, um, and caramel crunch, which is my newest one. She's so beautiful. Oh, I love her. I'm really happy that her hair was still so, so, so smooth. I could recurl it and it looks like perfectly. Here we've got another set that I would like. I mean, set, it's one pony. <laughs> but she belongs to a set that I really would like to collect for, but um, kind of they are expensive and I, it's, it's not my main focus right now. They are the rainbow curl ponies. She, like rain, um, Greenlet has a really bad hairstyle, but she can pull it off. <laughs> so here are the only ones of my twice as fancy ponies. You can see I have dancing butterflies twice. As I said, right now I'm still keeping my doubles in here. If it gets too crowded, then I have to take the doubles off. Like this one is in worse condition because uh, her hair here, she has more cut hair. And this one is the one I found at a flea market, so I will probably keep her in whatever I do with her. Either I customize her, or give her new hair, or sell her, or I don't know. Yeah, I really would like to collect this whole set. Probably Milky Way is my favorite. She was also in a bait lot. I um, redid her horn, so she her horn was like completely missing. And yeah, from in the camera you can see that the color is not the same exactly. But she is like my, one of my favorites. I know many people really like the um, European or UK version of Milky Way because she would have white stars. Um, but I'm super happy to have the uh, normal, like North America release version because most of my ponies don't have glittery cutie marks because over in Europe a lot of ponies didn't get glittery cutie marks so I'm happy that I have her um, like this. Here at the top row are my Twinkle Light ponies. I have to say I'm not a biggest fan of Twinkle Light ponies because um, out skyrocket here or uh, maybe tic-tac-toe is easier to get out yeah because I kind of think their eyes look a little bit creepy I'm not the biggest fan of them so I do not exactly like collect uh, the twinkle eyed ones it just happens that I stumble across them and then then I get them so I have acquired this collection for now 
Um, sweet stuff here is, is a double. This one is in worst condition. Um, I just keep her right now. Maybe I customize her. I do not not really know how to like redo the eyes of those because they have like gems in their eyes. And here's the only sparkle pony I have, Sunspot. So, oh no, Sunbeam. Sunspot is another one, Sunbeam. Oops. Which I would like to collect, but you hardly ever find them, those sparkle ponies. Uh, let's get to the next shelf. So this is um, a shelf again with um, pony sets that I'm really collecting for. Some of my favorites are in here. Let's again start with the, like you see the front row always is baby ponies. And when you uh, do mathematics, then you probably know that I have way less baby ponies than I have adult ones. I have to change that because um, baby ponies do not take up so much space. Maybe I should focus more on baby ponies. But anyways, here is one of the um, brother playtime ponies. And here is my only mail order pony, Baby Lucky. And here in the middle is a set that I kind of, I'm, I'm Frankensteining together. <laughs> no, it's not really a set because you can see they look kind of different. These sparkle versions of those baby ponies were released in the US, whereas the um, Euro set, the European set, looked quite different. They had more of those shiny bodies and they got tinsel hair. But other than that, you can maybe see that this baby Stellar here, they actually are kind of the same, but this is the American release and this is the European release. She is one of my uh, flea market finds, yay! I always love when I find Generation 1 ponies on flea markets, like, oh my goodness. She was one of my uh, childhood ponies, I mean, not she, but this pony in general. And I would like to get both sets, although, like, the, of course, I'm from Europe, so the American versions are not that easy to get. The next row is, yes, it's the sunshine ponies, which are also one of my favorites because, you know, sunshine and summer and beach themed. So we've got beach ball and uh, wave runner and mainsail and sand digger. And some of their hair is like a mess because those white streaks in their hair, they actually turned to um, pink in the sun. None of mine works, but it's super fizzy, so. Still, I'm okay. You know, when you when you look look at her, it, it still looks good for me. I'm not a collector which needs to have the, like the most mint condition toys. I more or less like to have them um, in a condition that I have that I can get them for a good price and I can restore them as much as, as possible, and then I'm happy with it. So, so, and I'm super happy with them. All online buys, this one I found at a convention. Here is uh, Snowflake, a Euro exclusive pony. Uh, she's uh, super common over here. I found her in a pony lot. You might have seen that. Then the next shelf is one of my favorite sets. I'm just missing one, I'm just missing Tuneful. These are the Rock and Beat ponies. Uh, half note, my very favorite, most cherished childhood pony. This is not my childhood one. I called her Rock Lady. I do not, also do not have any of their guitars because they used to have brushes shaped as guitars. But I got this cool Barbie guitar for a photo shooting that I'm planning to do at least. Uh, yeah. Then we've got Sweet Note and Pretty Beat. So, yeah. I'm missing one. I want to have her, but she's always very expensive, so... And then a set that I did not want to collect, but somehow I am, are these um, Dancing Prince ponies. They have these strange uh, concoctions here in the front. You can um, turn them and then their tails are like, like, like this, like a helicopter. They're helicoptering and then they're dancing, like a little bit at least. All of mine work, but I do not dance a lot, but... Um, yeah, I did not, like, uh, this one I bought a long time ago when I first started uh, collecting again. And then this found, I found DJ at a convention and Songstar at a thrift, th th thrift store. The, you can already see that I tried to collect um, or to put more of the colorful, like vibrant neon ponies on this shelf, whereas these are in general 
colorful ponies and these are more the pastel ones. So this is how I tried to do it in sets, but also in colors, so color wise. The top row are like probably also next to, or like next to the Rock and Beat ponies, my favorite set, the uh, Tropical ponies. You have seen the video, I don't have to explain anything about them. And I think the Holiday Pony, your exclusive Holiday Pony for the summer holidays, um, matches really well. She would also match to the Sunshine Ponies here. But there was a spot right there, so she went next to Seabreeze. She is like called Merryweather or just Holiday Pony. She is also from the, the uh, lot um, that I got in Düsseldorf. And Again, her eye is scuffed up. I don't know what she did with her eyes or with the ponies, but I have to retouch all of their eyes. I haven't done that yet, but it should be easy. So then we get to the ponies, which are more of a earlier release. So these are more the sets that came up earlier, except for this one, <laughs> which is a, a newborn pony. One of my like prized possessions found at a flea market very recently. Wiggles, baby Wiggles. Um, but she, she matched really nicely color-wise here. Um, I don't know where to start. Yeah, baby Blossom. Here are two baby Tillywigs. Um, here is a baby Glory. And let's start here because these, except for um, uh, this poor, this poor pinwheel with the hair cut, and these are my um, original rainbow ponies. So here we've got two versions of Moonstone. This is a normal release with a glittery cutie mark, which I rehaired. Let's see, because uh, it has really long hair, didn't have a hair, didn't have a tail, and one of their, their legs was cut off. This one was also super baby condition. I had to color her head to match up because it had a super dark head, it was super sticky and everything. And this one is my newest Moonstone. She is the German version, which has these kind of metallic shining cutie marks. Really good, uh, I think really okay condition for me. Bah. Then here we've got an Italian parasol and a Starshine, which I don't know what version it is. Maybe someone can tell me because she doesn't have a really glittery cutie mark, like a gold one, but she has this gold sparkly one which looks more like yellow so what country is she is she uk so the next row actually is most of my um rainbow ponies from the second set of the rainbow ponies which were released then in year four so you see they also have rainbow hair but with other colors than with these ones so they have more neon colors and like a peachy color and so i have two pinwheels here both italian this trickles is also Italian and this tickle or the other way around <laughs> is uh, my newest pony got her very cheap online here we've got a Euro not exclusive but a typical Euro pony a hopscotch also Italy and here we've got one of the original uh, unicorn ponies Sunbeam and a pony that came with a big um, pony castle playset so it's uh, majesty then here we've got some other early release ponies from year three. Tutsi, Italian version, um, Italian, um, Italian bow tie with curled hair. Here is a normal uh, sun dance and an applejack. So very typical ponies. And another one which is actually one of the cookery ponies, which is a Euro exclusive set from, from a later release, so later years. But she just matched the color theme. And, and yeah, that's why I put her there. The very top are my collector's post ponies. Way in the background, you see I have two um, uh, ponies which are in the package. They are not like from, from, from early on 90s in the package. No, they are the um, ponies that are released nowadays as the kind of anniversary ponies. So I've got only got um, Medley and Sky Dancer. I got them from a girl in, um, in America, so it shipped over to me and I do not plan on getting more and I also am really not happy with having them like in the box, but I also don't want to get them out of the box, so I don't plan on getting any more of these. Happy with these two. And the rest are my um, collector's post ponies, 
a bow tie and a lemon drop and, and those which were like not from the first super first year release or like peachy which was a pretty powder this is an italian peachy this is a normal release peachy but i have like two which are like the snuzzle and this butterscotch which are like um, flat feet ponies the others oh you can see that from from the from here <laughs> So these are flat feet ponies and the others are concave feet ponies here flat feet yeah that's actually my pony display so that's it that was my toy collection display i hope you had uh, fun watching this and i can definitely say this is still a work in progress because when you're collecting and you're always getting new stuff that's fun of collecting and then you have to rearrange things and maybe the next time this whole thing will look completely different. Um, also, please tell me if you want to see some of my other collections. They're not as big as my kind of vintage girls toys collection, um, but I will show you uh, things like up from Star Wars or my um, like dinosaur collection, things like that. Please uh, head over to my Instagram and uh, my Instagram is low, Sky Painter Toys, because there you can comment on this video probably not because I probably will put it as children friendly <laughs> anyways if you like this kind of content and are also interested in my cosplays then um, please subscribe to the channel and also like that video so I know you like it <laughs> um, yeah see you in the next video see you soon and may the force be with you bye